Columbus police are investigating after one person was shot and killed tonight in Clintonville. It is the second deadly shooting in Columbus in just the past eight hours. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. Carrie is off tonight. The first shooting today happened just after 1.30 this afternoon in the King Lincoln Bronzeville neighborhood. Police say Javon Tucker died at the hospital. NBC4's Kyle Beachy is live in Clintonville now where this latest shooting happened. So Kyle, what can you tell us about this investigation? I know it's just getting underway. Yeah, Colleen, good evening. One person is dead and four people are actually being detained, we're told by police right now. After they were called here to the 3200 block of High Street, right around 915 this evening to reports of a shooting. And when they got here, they did find that one person dead. The victim was pronounced just before 930. Police have taped off an area here on the east side of East of High Street around what appears to be a small apartment building. And police tell us those four people that are being detained are not necessarily being considered suspects right now. Detectives are on the scene investigating. But we don't have any update on the identity of this victim in this shooting just yet. And this deadly shooting comes at a time where violence has been happening all across the city of Columbus tonight here in Clintonville and last weekend in the short north. And many folks that I spoke to earlier tonight down in the short north and other areas of Columbus are a little apprehensive and it's changing their plans on whether they want to stay and want to hang out in that area. They asked me where we should go, and I think usually when someone's from out of town, I would suggest let's go to the short north, but I suggested to come here because of the recent violence, for sure. I met up with a group of friends hosting another friend from South Carolina, and when they were deciding where to go for some food and drinks, that decision was harder after recent shootings. We had a couple options. We would go to short north or we'd come out here to the east market. She's a social worker. She's very in tune with what's going on in Columbus. She said absolutely not. For those who have been in Columbus a long time, they've seen the short north go through a transition. I mean, I remember when it was um, run down and now, of course, it's beautiful. Violence anywhere is going to be concerning, whether it's a short north or anywhere else. Ten people were shot and 11 guns recovered after two shootings in the early morning hours last Saturday. That prompted a response from the mayor's office, chief of police and the short north alliance. And I spoke to another resident of the Short North who's been living there for 16 years earlier today. He said he's actually meeting with the mayor this week as part of a task force to work on different issues down there, and that includes violence. Local for you in Clintonville, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.